The radiator isotope iodine-131 is a diagnostic and also therapeutic isotope for the imaging of the thyroid gland. It is used to detect deficiencies such as disease and cancer within the gland and also treat it. During this process, it emits gamma and beta radiation through the imbalance of protons and nutrients within the nucleus. Beta radiation burns off the tissue and performs the main medical purpose of the treatment, which is to take care of the thyroid problems. It does not leave the body of the patient, however, therefore it would not be exposed to anyone else. The gamma radiation does leave the body as it is a ray. Depending on the person, the doctor is the one to choose the certain dosage the patient is meant to have. As stated before, iodine-131 is used as a medical treatment and a diagnostic isotope for the imaging of the thyroid gland. It can be consumed through a capsule and travels to the thyroid gland where it will concentrate, getting there through the bloodstream. Another use for this radioisotope is the photomedical imaging studies. A low dose of iodine-131 is given to the patient and a series of pictures are taken as it circulates the, the whole body the main purpose being to identify thyroid cells. Also, it shows the thyroid gland and everything within it. In larger doses, iodine-131 can be used to treat certain kinds of thyroid cancer in which absorb iodine and also treat hypothyroidism. An advantage of using iodine-131 and is that its half-life is 8 days, so the beta radiation doesn't do any harm or damage to the human body of the patient. It also targets cancer cells, so that it does not affect all the other organs of the body. It contributes to human society as thyroid imaging, which helps humans to identify the activity going on within their thyroid gland and treat it as soon as possible. Another advantage includes that the use of iodine-131 is that it is relatively painless, as it can be dissolved into liquid or inhaled to get into the body. Also, a great advantage is that the radioisotope can be removed from the body by passing through urinating. The disadvantages, however, include that iodine-131 is still radioactive. It still emits a great amount of radiation if there is an overdose of the isotope during the therapy. Additional exposure could stimulate thyroid cancer. Another disadvantage includes that iodine-131 still does emit gamma radiation as well. As it is a ray, it leaves the body, which can cause exposure to the surrounding people. A lot of exposure to iodine-131 can result into abnormalities within the thyroid as well. Not only that, but the low doses of iodine-131 can reduce the production of hormones. This video shows that with the disadvantages are more benefits of using iodine-131 for medical purposes. It has been used for therapeutic purposes and diagnosing for almost 50 years and also has saved many lives. The half-life as well is relatively short in contrast to other radioisotopes so that it does not cause any abnormalities within the patient's body. Thank you.